Okay there people, it's Friday morning. I think I got woken up mid-sleep cycle because I don't feel too awake right now. Jules is here. She's outside with Scruffy Fluffy Poppy Whoppy. Just totally dealing with the dog. I need to rock a piss. Need to rock a piss. Good, let him shit. Shit your brains out, bud. We got some running around to do today. Jules needs to get a new turn signal indicator for her, her uh, van. And we're gonna go shopping and look at some stuff. So, yeah. First, I gotta rock a piss. So, without further ado, welcome to my vlog. Okay, so I think we're off the crappy tire to get a bulb for this thing the minivan and go from there. Okay, so we just went to Crappy and uh, uh, Vivi Boutique. Vivi Boutique. Well, we're already in this uh, area. So what do we, oh, we got our shoppers. Uh, we got our shoppers. And we have the Dollarama still. Or, oh, I want to go down to the Dollarama down on Lakeshore. That's a better one. I haven't been to that one. It's got a lot more than this one up here. Oh. Way more. Look, drive through. Uh oh, uh oh, there's a truck there. Better take it quick before he decides he wants to park here. Okay. We drive through. Screw and you, Drucky. Okay. Oh, okay. We're good. Oh, well. We're good. We're good. Okay, so say? we're gonna go. Oh, banking. Okay, we're gonna head over to uh, Shoppers and then Vivi Boutique and Dollar Store, and then gradually make it back to my house where I'm gonna have to dissect this poor van to figure out how to put the light bulb in. Back there. It can't be that hard. No, you just. Yeah. It's probably gonna be a little bit of swearing. I was told to do the headlights. It's a lot of swearing, and the uh, oh, the, the tail lights is not a lot. But as you can tell, judging by that awesome ticker ticking away, it's desperately needed. Yes, it is. Jules totally, Jules totally fit into the freaking heli. I couldn't fit in the helicopter. I want, I want, I want. Holy crap! A buck. <laughs> no, he can't. You can't. Oh my god. That's the trick. Yeah, that's, I'm gonna videotape that. Oh. Okay, so uh, we just came back from the VV boutique, and Jules just dumped a buttload of money into Halloween costumes, and I farted, and she can't deal with the smell. No, I can't. So, I also went to the box store. I bought a box to put all my vape in. Yeah. And, uh, it's a box. I'll show you that when we get home. And I uh, bought some more lights for the projector setup so that we can actually get some pretty decent uh, light on that green screen and some other things. So we'll check that out when we get home. So let's go home. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what I got. So at Giant Tiger, I bought uh, these 45 watt friggin' Sylvania projector bulbs. I'm going to put these three in this lamp. I'm going to move what? Hi. Hi. I'm going to move this one back over to here and then put the three in there. Take these covers off and maybe get this thing to be really bright. So right on. Bought some batteries. They're five bucks for the pretty good amount. That'll be for my Xbox controller and shit. And then I need some triple A's for flashlights and uh friggin uh wireless mouse. So got those. Shoppers, got myself some allergy formula. This stuff's the good kind, makes you sleepy. And for those nights when I hit the beer too hard, well the next day I can get rid of my headache. Sweet. And then at the dollar store, I bought a box. Yeah, they love my box. Everyone loves my box. Just What's saying. In <laughs> What's in the box? And inside the box, there is Frigo. I plan on putting all my e juice and stuff in here. That way, there and like all my extras, like my filters and the uh, extra vaporizer kits and rebuild kits and all that shit. I'm gonna put all that in there so I have it all organized. Should be pretty awesome. And also, I bought a big box of this licorice candy because some people hate it, but I friggin' love it. It's my favorite. My favorite candy in the whole wide world. Sorted. Licorice shit. So tomorrow's the big vlog 1000, and we're trying to figure out things to do for it. Trying to make it a little more exciting than the average vlog. Um, we're, we're having issues. But the one issue I'm having right now is, I gotta fucking piss. Alrighty guys, well, <laughs> Jules and I were working so hard and trying to figure out what to do for tomorrow for vlog 1000 that uh, we completely forgot that she's attacking my dog. I want to jump as high oh, as Oh, be careful. You're in the entranceway. You might bang your head off the, the thing. I'm not used to banging my head off anything. Ready? <laughs> he thinks it's a game. He thinks it's a game. Oh, you're Okay, well, we forgot that uh, she has a tail light that needs to go in and... Uh, I'm not sure. Would you get out of my shoes? 
freaking dog is nuts. So uh, we're going to head out and uh, take off the back panel of the van and I have a feeling the light bulb's fine. I have a bad feeling the problem's the connection, but uh, we'll clean it. Okay, so I'm thinking the way to attack this job is remove that screw, remove that screw, and, it should just and pop right out. everything should just hopefully come right out. I'm hoping, because otherwise we got to take this off. I don't know how to take that off. And exactly. That's for That's just a, Okay. All right, well, I'm going to assess this. In, uh, whatever. Okay, I'll uh, grab a uh, freaking screwdriver and we'll start ripping this truck apart. Okay, we got a problem. What's the problem? Both these don't work. No. What are we going to use? Another one. Did you find something that will work? Maybe. Maybe. Perfect fit. Perfect fit? Holy shit, these have never been taken off. Oh, um, I thought so. That or they use a, a power one. Power. It better not. Power. So then we're going to use the power on the Dodge. <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for the ball joint comments now. The ball joint comments? Yeah, because back in the day... Holy fuck, you're on there. Tighter than a what? <laughs> What's the problem? Stand by. Stand by. He says stand by. Oh god, I'm no good at that. Adam looks lost. <laughs> Ready for the hack. It's a, it's a good technique, but it damages your screwdriver. Okay, These why? Are dollar store screwdrivers, so I don't give a fuck. Okay, well, yeah, there you go. Dollar Emma screwdrivers. Work for when you're in a pickle. Okay, let's get see if we there. get the out of the pickle. And then I get the leverage, and boom. Oh, there we go. You so smart. You so smart. <laughs> we got this some sun in your eyes. I want to see this thing come off. Oh shit, she's fucking on there. That's what she said. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're doing it, not me. They must have used like a power drill and just torque this thing right to shit. Well, it's Dodge. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> They don't want anybody else to work on it. Obviously. Oh, you brought another tail light? Bring it in. $79.95. We'll fix it for you. Yeah, I have to change a $4 light bulb. Those bitches. I know. Here and they Dodge. ripped me off the second bulb because it comes in a two pack. Here at Dodge, we, we, we focus ourselves on, on customer satisfaction by slowly draining your wallet every day. Every time. And here I'm thinking about buying one of these people. What do you think about that? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Yeah. Well, you don't want the the service of the Dodge. You just want the Dodge with the stow and go seat. So I just you want can... an ability to take my tractor places. Yeah, there you go. Tractor, your little bike, your mini bike. Mind you, it'd probably be a lot easier to get pickup trucks so then I can put more shit in it, but this thing gets the fuel mileage I'm looking for. That's right. And the more octane or ethanol you put in it, the longer it goes. Which is dick, because this is not an ethanol vehicle. Uh, if you look at the flex fuel it is. Yeah, that's a lie. Ethanol burns quicker than gas. Does it? So then why do they have more ethanol in the gold? They're not supposed to have any ethanol in gold. Look okay, at there goes this screw. Oh, 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 All right, so let's see. And does he come right off? Hey, what are you attached to over here? I don't want to break it. I think it just snaps. There's still something in there. Make sure this panel doesn't come out. Maybe. Maybe we should have Googled it first. Oh. No phone. No, I got... Oh, wait. I got mine. Oh, it. <laughs> Alright, we don't need to Google. Adam just needs to put a little muscle behind it. Yeah, without snapping it in half, because I can There's imagine, a little clip in it. I can imagine these, these hosings are probably... You know, not 25 cents at the nearest dollar store. <laughs> oh, come on now. Can't we get this at the dollar store? Okay, so... This it. one here is your signal light. Yeah, that's the one that's broken. How do you get that out? So that is a simple... Release? Hey, bud. 
freaking spider just jumping at me. Like, you it's a good thing you're not scared of spiders. No. I am. Not if it was a snake. It'd be different. Oh, I shit myself retarded. Release, you little jerk face. Actually, I probably don't even need to do that. I just... There you go. Oh, wow. Is she ever burnt? No, it's fine. Really? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. No, 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 no. That one's dead. Okay. No, no, no. That one's dead. Okay. okay. So, you just stay. <laughs> Good light bulb. Here, I'll hold it. Okay. Now, up to 100% more time. Don't what touch you it with it? your fingers. They say that if you put your fing oily fingerprints on the bulb, then See, it'll make it look, not last as long. Get a long. good look at this connector. Look at how burnt that is. Yeah, I know. I have a bad feeling your connector is your problem. Okay. Adrian, if you happen to watch this. Can I have a new connector? Can you confirm that with me? <laughs> Let the dodge. Because, like, this bulb. Like, here, let me see the camera. Yeah. Go for it. Like, it doesn't look burnt. It looks burnt on the side. But. She's not firing. It looks burnt when you turn it on the angle. When I look through that bulb, that yeah, bulb looks burnt. The filament looks okay, but it's, we'll replace it and see if it fires. Okay, so uh, we got the light bulb in. Yeah, I didn't realize it, but on those friggin' caravans, you take the two screws out and then you just gotta reef on it, like plunger plugs or some shit, I don't know. But it's out, it's working, life's good. I won't get pulled over. Yeah, no $75 fine for jewels. So, right on. So their van's back up to par. Was it five bucks for those two bulbs? Yeah. Dicked. They yeah. only sold them in singles. But mind you, sometimes when you, you're supposed to replace them both, but you know, we replaced one. If the second one pops, we'll replace that one too. Mm. They always said do them both at the same time. How long are they supposed to last? I don't know. It depends on the quality of the bulb. Those should last maybe a year. Okay. Maybe. Alrighty, well, Jules just left. And, um, yeah. Probably gonna head over there later on tonight. I gotta close that garage up. Unless I'm gonna barbecue some food. Ah, I'm not really hungry right now. One thing I know I need to do is go to the washroom. There, close that thing up. And let's head her back inside. Maybe tonight I can con Jules into giving me a haircut, because son of a bitch I need one. Alrighty, well, I'm not sure what to do right now. We got a bunch of ideas for Vlog 1000, which is airing on Sunday, as today is vlogging 9999. 999. Without the last nine. I frigged up. And uh, I got a lot of shit to film for that. I don't know how long it's gonna go for, but if we go for an hour, awesome. If we go for two hours, awesome. If we go for five hours, I doubt anybody will watch it, but awesome, you know? That was a little pecker head. Look at him. Trying to find a place where the grass isn't too tall so he can rock a shit. <laughs> Poor dog. Poor puppy. I really gotta mow my lawn. Yeah, like really, really, really gotta mow my lawn. One of these decades. <laughs> so I'm not really hungry right now. Uh, come on, Ariel. Bacon? <laughs> See bacon to him? He's flying. He's like, I, he's like, I love bacon. I, I love bacon. You like gonna have some bacon? Why don't they have bacon flavored e-juice? I should look that up. For eight six. Yeah, I wonder if they do have bacon flavored e-juice. I should go look that up and see if Can Vape has that. Cause I'm gonna be putting, oh yeah, that's right. Woman. Remember yesterday I couldn't find the killer vanilla? Well, Jules and I were sitting down here and we we're chatting and coming up with ideas and I didn't even notice it, but she noticed it right here. Killer vanilla. I was trying to find this, I couldn't find it. And then I realized where it was when I showed her the e chim video on One Northern Tech. And she was like, oh, you mean the bottle downstairs? I'm like, freak sakes! Because uh, once this watermelon's gone, I'm probably going to start burning vanilla in this one. Because it tastes better. I've got my box downstairs too. <laughs> As you can tell, it's really dark out right now. It's about 6.30 at night. And that happens at 6.30 at night. So I'll have to use the external light for now. Just gonna make sure I didn't leave my keys up here. I did. Okay, we're gonna head over to Jules' house. I just got a bunch of Voxers from the kids. They super want me to go over because they're gonna make root beer floats and they want me to be there for this. So, let's go over there and have some root beer floats. Hmm. So I got some new games for Skaven Games to play. And by Skaven Games, I mean myself. Um, 
the one game I got is Cities XL, which I'm kind of excited to play. It's kind of like a SimCity wannabe game, but uh, I personally think it's cooler because it's not covered in DRM. And uh, the other game is, well, I played some Prison Architect. I got some Minecraft. I'm like, I got about three days left, and then I run out of games for escaping games, so I got to get on that and get some more titles up there. But uh, let's head over there now. So we'll head over to Jewel's house and uh, friggin' see what the hell's going on. Have some root beer floats and stuff. Uh, yeah, I mentioned yesterday about that uh, e-cigarette, the one I ordered from Vape Can, uh, Can Vape. Um, ordering it at like one o'clock in the morning on a Thursday meant they shipped it out, but it's currently sitting in the sorting depot at Mississauga, so it might take a little bit to get here. And this is what burns my ass, is because they shut down so many sorting centers around Ontario, what's happening now is post always has to be shipped down to Mississauga, sorted and sent off. And this is what's stupid. Let's say at work we have to ship out a modem because the person just doesn't have the ability to come into the office, they don't have a ride and they don't want to take the bus, whatever. And we have to ship it out. What happens is, is we ship it to them and then the post office takes it, takes it to Mississauga, so then it leaves North Bay, goes past Toronto to the sorting center, sorted, and then shipped to the back here so the customer can get it. It's a completely ridiculous setup. Might as well enjoy driving my car because uh, she's getting parked next week. We're getting snow soon, which means I gotta drive that piece of shit. I'd rather drive this all year round. Oh well, anyway, let's uh, head off over to Jules' house and have some root beer floats. Frig yeah. Check it out. She got her pumpkin set up with the LED candles that flicker so it looks like the real candles. Let me turn off the light. And uh, yeah, you can totally see them. It's almost like they're really lit, eh? But they're not. They're not. Just battery candles. Friggin' sweet. How do you like your raccoon hug? Raccoon hug. Raccoon hug, I can't raccoon see her. You gotta turn more around. Turn, turn, turn. There's the raccoon! Raccoon hug. Hide your face. There's the raccoon! <laughs> so Jules' son's trying to get out, and I'm, I'm just holding the doorknob. And my screen, there we go. And uh, see, I'm just holding the doorknob, and you can't turn the doorknob, and you can't figure it out, and he's all mad now. Like, Help, Quentin! He's, he's, oh, hey. Somebody else is helping. Who's helping? I need to get in! Like, totally. Oh, can you open the door? So the kids are in bed. I should have filmed it, but it wasn't working out on, uh, you keep your nose away from those there, puppy. Kids are in bed, but uh, Jules decided because her middle-aged daughter's gone for a sleepover at uh, Julie's friend Amy's house. And um, the other kids that are here were kind of upset because they wanted to go in things and you no know, one kid only and Jules way of taming them down was she showed them the glow in the dark nail polish yeah. and it works pretty good too once you get a good, a good amount of light on it. it would work better if we had a UV light but we don't so I just been using the flashlight so on my camera it's gonna be a lot better well when they're playing in the sun nail. yeah as long as they don't scratch it up on like pavement and toys and stuff but Whatever. Awesome. But it'll still look pretty freaking cool because it works pretty good right now when you get them charged. But uh, Jules, all of a sudden, like we're sitting here, we're trying to think of something to do. Uh, there was root beer floats. I forgot to film it. Sorry, guys. But uh, you see these cups over here? Jules bought these today for root beer floats. Four bucks gets you four cups and an ice cream scoop, which is the scoops you see right there. And you can totally make root beer floats, which is awesome. But Jules gets this great idea that, uh, hey, let's make guacamole. And I'm like, oh, so you got like avocados and <laughs> cilantro and some lime and all that. And she's like, oh, I cheat. And I'm like, well, how can you cheat? Like, it's such an easy thing to make, right? It's just avocados, smash them up. You know, you get some uh, lemon juice, put it in, some lime juice, put it in, and uh, some cilantro and put it in, and then smash it all together and guacamole. No, here's her ingredients. You ready for this? <laughs> Avocados, check. Given. Guacamole mix, done. <laughs> That's it. I told you I cheated. I tell you. <sighs> I can't. The only thing that bugs me about this is 
the first, uh, well, here's the directions. Cut avocado in half lengthwise, move pit, easy. Okay, well, let's do that. Using a spoon, scoop out the insides and, and discard the peeling. Mix contents of this package with mashed avocados. Chill for 30 minutes to blend flavors. <laughs> first ingredients, maltodextrin. What's that? That is a sweetener. That's not really good for you. <laughs> Sugar, sugar. Yeah, well, it's also, it's also a carcinogenic, but it's whatever. the reason why my guts are rotten from the inside. Dehydrated minced onions. This is my favorite, okay? It's got cultured buttermilk, more maltodextrin. It's got maltodextrin listed twice. So, I guess they just, oh, sorry, it's sour cream powder cream slash maltodextrin slash, so it's not even sour cream. It's like they should have just put these ingredients and, and called it quits, but whatever. <laughs> and this is my favorite one. Lemon juice powder. Lemon juice powder? That's like having dehydrated water. Also known as <laughs> sand. You know, like <laughs> lemon juice powder? Are you freaking for real right now? What's going on here? Like spices, garlic powder, dehydrated red bell pepper granules. Like it's probably gonna taste awesome. It's probably gonna taste awesome, but I guarantee you tomorrow she's gonna be bleeding from her bum. But I'm just saying, I'm just That's kind of really gross. I'm, I'm just just putting it out I've there. I've had this before and I haven't woken up bleeding from my ass. If it happens tomorrow, I friggin' a toad so. Okay. I friggin' a toad so. Friggin' a toad so and Yeah. I friggin' a toad so. Okay. So now what we need to do is cut these avocados in half, deep hit them. And Sorry, uh, a lot of noise. Yeah, she's making a lot of noise. Yeah. <laughs> it just happens that way. Yeah. Also, we just finished filming a funny skit for Vlog 1000, which goes live on Sunday, and uh, I'm hoping it worked out. I'm hoping it's funnier than Frank. So, we'll see. More to come. Yeah. So, we have the avocado pits. They're flesh. Mm -hmm. They're innards. They're guts. Now to smash it all up. Smash, 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 smash. I think smash, I want something smash, smash. else to Get a glass or a potato masher. Yeah, that's what I want. Or a machine gun. Or my blender. Really? Yes. Okay, fine. No, I want This just time. in, I'll be wearing avocado tonight. Yes. Should have filmed attempt number one, half the avocados ran from the mixer. <laughs> it's not really a blender tool. You're supposed to mash them, but you know. But I'm lazy. Yeah. Look at this, like she's getting it everywhere. I should probably get the uh, get the raccoon helmet out of the way because he's already flung stuff over this way. Okay, maybe I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> maybe you need a potato masher. Okay, fine, I get the potato masher. Just like my blender. You like your blender. I do. You like doing it the easy way. Oh my. Oh, well, I am cheating. Well, a little bit. Friggin'. Friggin, friggin' people. Some people's children. Okay, well, I'm gonna head her home. Jules is going to bed, and Adrian wants to go for coffee in about a half an hour. So I'm gonna... She just vaped me out. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go home, let Scruffy out, and then uh, go meet up with Adrian for coffee. Well, you have fun with that. Have one for me. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty people, well I'm back from Horton's with Adrian and uh, it's currently a quarter after one in the morning and I should be calling this quits here but there's a story I wanted to tell you about. You ever hear about this substance out there called salvia or I think it's called salvia. Well, there's a lot of people on YouTube who've uh, done salvia and they should they videotape the whole experience and shit and yeah it's pretty funny, pretty funny you know they I thought it was all fake and that the uh, effects were just you know it was all acting that's what I thought. <laughs> Ends up it's not. <laughs> Tonight over at Jules house uh, her friend Amy came over to uh, basically uh, Jules daughter was going over there for a sleepover and uh, <laughs> started talking about salvia and apparently you can buy it at one of the stores here in town and uh... yeah apparently he bought some and he tried it out and he had the uh... this really weird effect where he lost total control over his body like his arms basically became super heavy he had no control over them he couldn't send the proper inputs to tell his arms to move and hands to move and stuff so honestly that's something i never want to try ever 
So I was like, holy shit, that sucks. Then I got to thinking, imagine if you mixed that stuff with marijuana. What does marijuana do? It makes you super hungry. What does salvia do? Makes you lose control of your body. You mix them together. How do you torture yourself? Put a sandwich on your desk or on your table or something. You can't make your hands grab that sandwich to feed yourself. It's going to drive you nuts. Yep, it will. Yep, yep, it will. Anyway, people, I just thought I'd share that with you. I don't know if anybody out there has ever tried salvia. If you have, let me know in the comments below. But as for me, I need to call her quits for tonight. And uh, tomorrow is vlog 1000. I have no idea what we're doing for it. It's going to be crazy. I'm hoping for something awesome, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go with the flow and it's the way she go. Yo, yo, yo. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. So, I need to call her quits, go to bed, wake up tomorrow, and try and make something awesome for my 1,000th vlog. When, I can't even say that word right. Son of a bitch. But anyway, people, on that note, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.